This is part one of the Tree of Life acrylic painting lesson. This tutorial will show you how to draw a basic tree with several branches that extend off your edge, perfect for filling in with acrylic paint. If you love art and love to learn about art, don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't matter what direction you turn your paper, and I'm going to use a reference tree that I just found, um, a free clip art online. And you're gonna start by drawing the trunk of your tree towards the center at the bottom of your paper. From the trunk of your tree, you're gonna extend anywhere from five, maybe seven, maybe even nine lines, depending on how big your paper is. You are not gonna connect them in the center yet, but make sure every single one goes off the page. Now that you have your basic composition, it's time to kind of map in where the trunk of your tree is going to go. It is a little bit confusing because you have lines just coming from everywhere. So you're gonna be using your eraser a lot. And then start with the branch that seems easiest for you to see. For me, it's probably one of the bottom branches. And I'm gonna make, instead of just one line, I'm gonna put two parallel-ish lines to make an enclosed branch. For now, just pay attention to where the branches touch the central part or the trunk of your tree. Don't worry so much about the ends of your branches. And notice I just added a V. We're gonna break your branches up into smaller branches as they extend out. As your branches extend to the edge of your paper, you're gonna be making lots of Vs. You want your branches to get more interesting, more detailed, and multiply as they head towards the edge of your paper. Your eraser will be your friend in this process, making sure that the trunk of your tree makes sense and looks good. And as you extend out, your Vs might get bigger and there might be more of them. Every single branch you draw needs to extend all the way to the edge of your paper to make really nice spaces that we're gonna fill with paint in part two of this lesson. going and you can always go back and add more details, more branches, and more V's. make sure I have enough sections to fill with acrylic paint for part two of this lesson. So I'm counting to make sure I have at least 10 and that's the very least sections that I'm going to practice some acrylic painting techniques. I decided to add another branch down to the bottom to kind of split that giant space up and to give me more sections. So go back and ask yourself, is your tree interesting enough? Do you have enough sections? And then look at the trunk of your tree and make sure that every branch connects in a natural and interesting way. Part two of this lesson will teach you how to mix tints and how to mix shades using acrylic paint. This is a very basic form of painting. You don't need any paint experience and it makes for a beautiful and interesting tree of life artwork.